Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and in one week's time, seven days, Revontuli Coast is coming out on all three platforms and the update. Now guys, you don't have to purchase Revontuli Coast in order to get the update. The update will be there for everyone. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about exactly what is gonna come in this humongous update. It just might be the biggest update we have ever had in Call of the Wild history. Before we head into it, guys, let me know in the comments what you are most excited for on the new map and with the new update. And if you do enjoy today's video, smash that like button. Thanks guys, you guys are awesome. Let's head straight into it. Let's talk about the new map. So with Revontuli Coast, we are not getting a weapon this time. We are getting instead a water layout blind. And it says players who purchase Revontuli Coast will receive a water layout blind. The water layout blind will be a very useful tool. It will allow us to conceal ourselves from waterfowl ducks and upland birds while in water. And we have seen it on stream and it looks absolutely amazing. So that's what we're getting instead of a weapon. Revontuli Coast comes with 19 species. Most of them, I believe 12, are birds or ducks. This is what they are. We have white-tailed deer, moose, brown bear, Eurasian lynx, Canadian geese, and mallards. Those are the six species that are coming from other maps. Then we're gonna have capercaillie, willow ptarmigan, rock ptarmigan, black grouse, hazel grouse, tufted duck, golden eye duck, Eurasian teal, Eurasian widgeon, gray leg goose, under bean goose, mountain hare, and rack dogs so three goose species that is super exciting and we have never had a map with 19 species before so this is unprecedented and I am super excited for this map and we are getting a brand new great one species and we don't know what that is yet they're not going to tell us we're gonna have to figure it out so guys what I recommend is watching social media on Tuesday June the 28th that is release date and my guess is that with everybody playing that day and this huge update I think there will be quite a few initial spawn great ones and we will find out on Tuesday. That's my guess. So with the update, we're getting the new weapon wheel. It's going to be introduced alongside Revontuli Coast. Thanks to a radial menu, we'll be able to switch weapons, ammo, and sights quicker than before. It's going to be a huge upgrade for console or controller users, and I think everyone is very excited for this new weapon wheel. We are getting a new ammo, 22 conehead ammo. It's going to be available for any player who owns weapon pack one, weapon pack three, or the modern rifle weapon pack. So the 22 conehead ammo will be free if you own any of those weapon packs. So let's talk about game improvements. We are getting with this update the highly requested waterfowl rework. Now this isn't just going to be for Revontuli Coast, it is going to be for every map in Call the Wild. I have done a detailed video on what is going to be included with the waterfowl rework and I will leave the link on the screen here for you guys. In the patch notes it reads that the goals for the rework are to create variation within and between species of birds to differentiate their behaviors, convert waterfowl to use home ranges and need zones similar to all other animals in the game but these need zones you cannot kill so you don't have to worry about shooting from a structure in order to get reduced hunting pressure we actually will not be able to blow out the need zones for waterfowl so that is very exciting create persistence in waterfowl individuals and groups of birds upland flea behavior for waterfowl so the waterfowl are actually going to be a lot faster and a lot more challenging some people are happy about that some people are not I am very excited for it I like challenge I find it makes the game more fun implement comprehensive gameplay feedback for waterfowl attraction and make sure all of this works in a multiplayer environment with players hunting together so that is awesome because we have had some problems with geese in multiplayer so we should be able to hunt all of these waterfowl in multiplayer there's going to be a full rework of the animal home ranges populations and schedules for specific reserves and from what I have been told 10 out of the 11 maps are going to get population resets the only map that is not going to is going to be Silver Ridge Peaks and that may come down the road but right now Silver Ridge Peaks is not going to change. I understand that Mississippi is going to get minimal changes, Rancho is going to get some changes and all of the rest of the maps are going to be completely reworked. We're going to have all new zone times, we're going to have all new hotspots. Basically they're all getting refreshed so hunting on all of the maps is going to be new and exciting. So <laughs> I'm going to be making all new super guides. I have a lot of work ahead of me but that is 
is very exciting. Now also we have the Marksman and Red Raptor Reflex sights. They've had an efficiency overhaul, so a lot of people are very excited about that. The Dog Command wheel has been updated. They have implemented boat icons to clarify which boats are accessible by players and which are not. They've added a new option so players can disable POI icons on the map and HUD separately. Borderless full screen mode will now be supported. Callouts are now clickable, so that's good. And indication to let users know if a reserve is playable or not on a new game screen. They have done an overhaul of death camera movement and character respawning. That's graphics changes. Under accessibility, the item wheel has been added. So the item or weapon wheel is free, guys. You do not have to purchase Rev on Tuli. That is part of the free update. They have added the functionality to rename your dog. So that is really good because actually when I had my very first dog in early access, I accidentally pressed enter and my dog's name was name your dog. So that is what I had to play with because you couldn't change the names before, but we will be able to rename our dog after the update. There's going to be harvest check improvement. They've actually really improved a lot of the graphics in the game. So we can look forward to that. They have removed the alligator sound hint, which was added to Silver Ridge Peaks before the Mississippi Acres Preserve release. That was a clue and that is still there right now. But as of the 28th, that will be gone. And we have quite a few bug fixes. And I know a lot of people are very excited about the bug fixes. They fixed the problem of keybind descriptions not displaying in the settings menu. No more excessive poop trails for Eastern Cottontail rabbits. Animals will not appear static while drinking near shores. That is awesome because with them not raising their head while they're drinking, it is absolutely impossible to get a heart shot. So that will be fixed with the next update. Ranger skill not working with traditional bows. That is going to be fixed. They fixed the issue of accept and decline button appearing in Polish language even when the game is launched in English. Under skills and perks, the reset skills reset perks button will now remove the effects of skills and perks in the current game session. It says 3D UI icons twitch have been fixed. Fix the issue where POI icons did not appear on the map. If that happens to you guys, you just have to go into your settings and turn on POI icons. I know that confused a lot of people, including myself with the last update. They were turned off, so that will be fixed with the new update. That won't happen again. And they have fixed the issue when approaching the first outpost in a new game. The question mark icon did not appear. So basically when you got close to an outpost, it would vanish off the map and you'd be like, okay, where is the outpost? So that is going to be fixed and that is very exciting news. So we only have seven days to wait for the new map and the update. It is going to be quite a large update, I understand, and it should come out very early in the morning on June the 28th, which is next Tuesday. So we have seven days, guys. So if you are really far into your great one grind, keep going. You have seven days to make that happen. And if you put a lot of work into it, there's no point in stopping now. Keep going. You just might get that great one before the update. And now is a great time to brush up on your shotgun skills. Practice with those shotguns. Get good with it because we are going to be doing a lot of shotgun hunting. And if you are a newer player, maybe this is a good time to try and level up your character and unlock the Kachatori, which does have six shots. And that is very handy. I also wanted to mention, guys, that there was a new announcement yesterday. We have a brand new fishing game coming from Expansive Worlds. There is no release date for it, and it is called Call of the Wild the Angler. And there will be an EW stream tomorrow. I believe it's at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's what was mentioned during the EW stream today. And it is going to be a question and answer session with the devs. So that is going to bring us more info on this new and exciting fishing game, which I expect to come out later in the year. But again, we don't have a release date. So what I understand about the angler is that it is going to come out on PC first and then it will come to console at a later date. So it is going to be for console as well, just a little bit later. So that's what's going on with the new map and the update, guys. Seven days we have to wait, not very long. Let me know in the comments how excited you are and that's gonna wrap it up for this one. We will definitely see you guys in the next one. If you guys would like to learn amazing hotspots for every single species in Call of the Wild, definitely click on these where and when super guides. Take care, guys.